This Chief Executive Officer was able to oversee the most significant transformation of this iconic company since its privatisation in 1995. And last year, it posted its best financial performance in its 96-year history. I've been delighted to work... I've been delighted to work with him in a partnership with the Australian Government, supporting our premier public and economic diplomacy program in the United States, GIDA USA. Tonight's winner has also been recognised internationally as an influential leader in the Financial Times Top 100 Business LGBT Executives. He is also a member of the Male Champions of Change. And his courage in speaking out on these issues was absolutely vindicated by the yes vote today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the GQ Business Leader Award for 2017 is Mr. Alan Joyce. Well, thank you very much, everybody, and thanks, Julie, for those very kind words. It's, uh, it's been amazing to be here today. What an amazing day. It started early this morning with an amazing occasion, being in the park, listening to the vote and the results on marriage equality. I was there with Ian Torp, and Ian, what an amazing speech you gave tonight. I was there with Magda Savansky. I was there with my partner, Shane. It was extremely emotional. This is an amazing country. I came to Australia in 1996. When I left Ireland, it was still illegal to be gay in Ireland. It was, homosexuality was illegal. I left that country came here and I always thought Australia was one of the most amazing open places to be. Two, three years ago, two years ago, in May 2015, Ireland had a referendum. And in that referendum, the most amazing result happened. 60% of the Irish people voted, 62% in favour of marriage equality. The first country in the world to do that. I was so, so proud of Ireland. I was in tears when that result came true. I taught this country that when I left it, where homosexuality was illegal, had turned in tw less than 20 years to embrace uh, the LGBTI community. What an amazing change. Two years later in Ireland, we had the first openly gay prime minister. What an amazing change for a country what an amazing change, and what an amazing country to be proud of. I'm so proud of Ireland. But when I came to Australia, I always knew this is an amazing country. It was the second country in the world to give women the vote. This is a country where a gay, openly gay Irish man can become the leader of one of the most iconic brands in the world a company that's the oldest operating airline. It's been flying for 97 years. A company that's gone through the most amazing transformation. Three years ago, we had a record loss. And as Julie said, in the last two years, it's had record profits. A company which embraced an Irish man to become its leader because it's a meritocracy. And this is an amazing country. And it has taken us a while we're the 24th country, I think, in the world now to embrace marriage equality. But today was an amazing day. Anybody that was there today, anybody that saw today, would have been so proud of the people of Australia. 80% voting, voting in this, uh, this plebiscite, this survey, but an amazing 61.6%. 
If this was a general election, it would be the biggest landslide in Australian electoral history. This is the Australian people telling the world what an amazing country this is. This is the Australian people really telling Julie our politicians to get on with it and deliver. And I'm so pleased that the government of Malcolm Turnbull has said, and today he did say before Christmas this will become law. This is what the Australian people want. This is what the Australian people are demanding. And I'm so proud of Australia with the vote it has today. Now let's get on and do it. I want to also thank my partner, Shane. Shane's worked for the Marriage Equality Campaign for the last two years. And as Ian said tonight, the reason why this campaign has worked is because we've had people behind the scenes, people in living rooms, people that have been saying, we're gay, we're part of your society. Whether it's the best sportsman that's won the best medals, the most medals in Australian history, whether it's Magda Savansky, one of the people that you've embraced in your living rooms every day, or whether it's the CEO of your, one of your biggest companies, we're here, and we're here to stay. And I'm so pleased that the Australian people have recognised by embracing the LGBTI community, and I'm so pleased that people like Shane, the people behind the scenes, have worked tirelessly on this campaign, and got this amazing result today. I can I thank GQ for this amazing award and thank GQ for their amazing support uh, of the LGBTI community in particular and for the business community in total. Thank you very much. If you were to give any advice to Aussies for what to strive for in 2018, what would you say? I think um, I would give the advice to Australians that just to try and be themselves. I think that's the best thing you can do. And if, you're be, if you are yourself, then I think you can achieve whatever you want. Yeah, the genuine you. The genuine you.